On the coronavirus, we've been following some big developments there as well today. First, we have record breaking numbers in North Carolina. Hospitalizations hit an all time high today. In fact, the highest since the pandemic started, but also for the first time ever, the state reporting more than 3000 people being treated for COVID-19. New daily cases topping 5200 today. And across the state line in South Carolina, DHEC still reporting steady numbers. The percent positive rate at 18%. That's something to be concerned about. That means nearly one in five people tested are getting positive results back. Among those positive tests, Governor Henry McMaster. Today, he announced he has the virus and he has some mild symptoms. His wife tested positive a few days ago. She, though, has been asymptomatic. Meanwhile, efforts to get the COVID vaccine to the masses are being rushed right now. North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper laid out new plans on how to distribute the drugs today. And Savannah Levins joins us now with the latest from the governor, Savannah. Of North Carolina's 100 counties, 65 are in the critical red zone when it comes to coronavirus spread. That includes Mecklenburg County. 27 are in the orange zone, the final eight in the yellow, which is still classified as significant spread. Days before Christmas, Governor Cooper calling on faith leaders to Tuesday's press conference. As a church, we've been meeting virtually for 10 months. And we plan to continue that journey knowing that God is not limited to or defined by physical space. And I hope that many congregations will follow your lead. Some churches like Myers Park Baptist are going fully virtual for Christmas services this year. Other congregations like St. Peter's Catholic and Elevation offering both online and in-person services, asking those physically attending to reserve a seat in advance. Governor Cooper saying they're full steam ahead administering vaccines and considering new CDC recommendations that people over 65 get higher priority alongside health care workers. Older people certainly need to be prioritized because they have much more of a chance to become seriously ill and to die. And we are now huddling to determine how our priority uh, will change. Only Santa getting a pardon from the stay at home order and 10 p.m. curfew. We're going to make sure that uh, he can make all of his rounds, so he will wear a mask. However, he's, he's told me that he would. Everyone else encouraged to hunker down this holiday. State Health Secretary Manny Cohen encouraging anyone who is traveling to get tested first, but reminding folks that a negative result is not necessarily always accurate and certainly is not a free pass. Reporting in Charlotte, Savannah Levins, WCNC Charlotte.